This is Redbeard, and on this adventure, I go to Sturgis. Wow, what a week it's been. Can't wait to show you all the things I've been able to do up at Sturgis. Um, but first, you might be asking yourself, what is Sturgis? Well, it's the largest motorcycle rally in the world. It started in 1938, and it's only been canceled like twice. And that was during World War II due to fuel rationing. And this 10-day event, there's usually somewhere around 500,000 people that go through Sturgis. Now, I'm sure there's a lot more to come into the area, but through Sturgis itself, over 500,000 people. But if we haven't met yet, I'm Redbeard. Uh, I started riding again in 2016, six months after my cancer diagnosis. Riding saved my life and I pray it helps you fight whatever you're dealing with. So why did I go to Sturgis this year? I mean, isn't there still a pandemic going on? And guess what? I didn't know much about Sturgis before I agreed to go. You see, the only rally type event I really been to was the Wingding and that was, uh, that was like a month ago. I also didn't know much about South Dakota. I've never even been in the state before. But a request went out from Two Wheels Big Life asking if anyone wanted to ride with their son from Nashville to Sturgis. I happened to live in Nashville and I saw this as an opportunity to go to Sturgis with people who knew something about it. Uh, Max and I headed out uh, the morning of Saturday, August 7th. Uh, we had to battle the heat, the, the traffic, uh, we camped at uh, Glenwood Park Campground in Glenwood, Iowa, where we then had to battle or survive for the thunderstorm. The second day of riding, we rode around 500 miles and made it to Sturgis View Campground. Does that with a 10-inch cast iron skillet, right? When you're camping. Yeah. That's we get we get food and a show. Yeah, food and a show. I decided not to attend the overly packed concerts uh, that are associated with Sturgis, but I did spend some time walking around downtown. There are so many vendors and so many bikes to see. All right, here we are at the plumbing store. Down to country plumbing, and uh, we start. We're gonna get some ice cream, maybe uh, maybe Polish doll, maybe Polish sandwich. I also attended the meet and greet Two Wheels Big Life had in downtown Sturgis. While there are plenty of things to see and do in downtown Sturgis, the surrounding area is a huge draw. I recommend visiting this area when there's no rally going on. The rides are wonderful, but most of the time we are tired to tire. One of our first adventures was to Rough Lock Falls. This way. Then what we should have done was leave the falls the way we came. Ever follow an adventure rider having a great time? I have. I finally got to see Mount Rushmore. A big surface to car on.
I have a new favorite ride. Iron Mountain Road is 17 miles long with 314 curves, 14 hairpin turns, 3 pigtails, and 3 tunnels. But that's not all. It also has single lane roads as well as views of Mount Rushmore. Custer State Park is a must see. There are the bison we got to eat lunch with, and then there's an amazing section of Needles Highway. If you want that western feel, you gotta go to Deadwood. There are so many roads to ride and sights to see. Here are a few more. This is Redbeard at the center of the nation. And there's nearby Wall, South Dakota, home of famous Wall Drugstore. They have many souvenirs as, uh, as well as some curiosities. There's even a chapel and lots of shopping. You can't forget the Western paraphernalia. I even found these interesting hand warmer mugs. For those of you who would like to see Sturgis without the traffic, I'll end this video uh, with an early morning ride through downtown. So until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.